Using alpha tiling, you can create very complex details using extremely simple alpha textures. You can see how Magdalena has used alpha tiling on a circular alpha to create the details on her character's clothing. There are two places you can find controls for alpha tiling. One is in the brush palette under alpha and texture, and that's what I'm using right here. I'm going to set alpha tile to 1, and that's how the alpha looks, just a simple circle. Now I'm going to go to the alpha palette and increase the horizontal tiles. This is a new feature. You'll see the icons for the alpha actually update as you increase the horizontal and vertical tiles. You can use different values for each, allowing you to create interesting designs. I'm just going to switch to a square alpha, and this is what I get. Some excellent examples of alpha tiling are found on Steve Warner's tank model. For instance, the bullets in the machine gun. And other details throughout the model. I'm just dragging out an alpha that has been tiled eight times in the uh, horizontal axis. You can see how it's affecting the unmasked portion of the surface. In this case I have the circular alpha and I've turned the alpha tiling in the brush palette to eight. And I'm combining that by adjusting the horizontal and vertical tiles in the alpha palette. So I have both types of tiling at the same time. 